this was an, a mutually abusive relationship. Both of you attacking each other with words and physically as well. Correct. So what changed? We decided, listen, we're either going to do this, especially as me getting closer to launch with music and really uh, have a platform. I, I actually went to him and I said, listen, if I'm going to go out there, we're either going to stop this now um, or we're going to fix this and we're going to continue and be an example to people because I don't want to go out and just get a divorce. Mm -hmm. You know, he was honestly my second boyfriend in life. I was not with a lot of men. Yeah. And so I was like, it's either you or, or it's nothing. And then also for my daughter, I have a 10 year old daughter mm -hmm. with him and I didn't want her growing up seeing that and to continue and to be in that mess in that environment. Right. Right. Did it affect her at all? You think has it affected her? Or? I mean, She's an only child and she's smart and beyond her years. Um, and so I would think so. And yeah. we had to take responsibility as that as parents. So you decided between the two of you that you were going to get help for this. Yes. Where did you get that help? Um, <clears throat> first, we had to make a choice with each other. But then it's also laying down your pride and saying, I need help and going to see a counselor. So mm -hmm. we felt comfortable um, with our pastor. Um, and that was actually in New York and mm. we would start to see him once a week and then also if I was traveling We'd also Skype with him. You realize that the statistics for abusive people is that only 1% Will ever change without significant long-term intervention professional intervention The two of you deciding this is this runs against all the statistics. I mean this what do you attribute this difference to? I just believe that it's honestly God's mercy 